Yo, what is good YouTube? The first thing you'll probably notice is that I have a camera now so I can record and it looks okay. It looks pretty good, I think. But yeah, sorry for the inconsistent uploads. I've been busy with Christmas and everything, but now we're back on it. I have a schedule of videos planned. But the one I'm gonna do today is Jack Boys. I'm late as hell, I know, to the party. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a beat in that style. Let's just get straight into the beat. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna lower the BPM to about one, two, four. Pull up a scale, up a G. I'm gonna grab a guitar, so I think I might head into a one-shot kit. I'm gonna find a sound. So I'm gonna use the sound, busy guitar, and I'm just gonna start by laying down some chords. this such a simple chord progression on the guitar um, I'm gonna strum the notes and randomize the velocities and I'm just gonna let you hear it I'm just gonna try and add to the melody with some other things. So with this bell tone, I'm literally just following the top melody. It's sim super simple. I just added this accent note just on every other hit. It's so subtle you might not even be able to notice it. And that just repeats on the second half of the bar. I might layer the guitar with a piano but keep it very in the background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna layer the sample out, render it out as an audio file. So now that it's rendered out, I'm gonna uh, chop it up in a fruity slicer channel, but just up the attack just to get a choppy effect. Pull up the attacker touch and the decay touch. I'm just gonna re-render that out. So now to give it the vintage sample feel, then to pitch it up 800, around that, a thousand sometimes, send it to a mixer track and add uh, some sort of effect to it, some uh, analog sort of style effect and then re-render it out still at that pitch So now that is re-rendered out what I would do now is I would send it to uh, Another mixer track and what I would do is I would decrease the pitch a bunch if I upped it by 800 So I might decrease it by 600 So that sounds like that so then what I would do is I'd add a couple more effects and re-render it out once more So the more you change the pictures and keep re-rendering out, the more vintage sounding it's gonna give. And it's just gonna make it sound like a real sample. So now the bit everyone's been waiting for, I'm gonna get straight into the drums. So I'm gonna start off by getting a rim and laying that down. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer the rims and maybe try and delay one just to give it more of a, you know, I don't know, I just feel like it'll add a good effect. So 
So I feel like it just kind of adds an effect. No one, literally no one will ever notice that. So it's literally up to you whether you want to do that or not. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another rim. It's like a bounce one. So the rim I added is just so random. Like it's literally not even in places it should really be. It just goes like this. <laughs> And that obviously the repeats on the second half of the bar. What I'm gonna get to now is the 808, and I have no idea which one I'm gonna use. So I just re-listened to the track, and the 808 sounds like the one Wonder Girl uses, but it sounds like she put a gate on it so it stops and plays when she so chooses to, to add to the bounce. That's what I'm gonna do now. So as I always do, I'm just going to lay down the 808 pattern first, which I want it to go like, and then after that, then I'll put it in key. So this is the pattern I have. I'm just gonna put it all in key. So what I did was I pitched the melody up uh, 300 semitones, I think, just so the 808 is um, like growly sounding and not too high sounding like it was before. I just added this little slide note in just for the typical old school wonder girl so my camera battery died so i'm back re-recording now now i'm just going to get into the hats but i just added this kind of normal hat i'm just going to lay down a two-step pattern and edit it from there I just had this crazy simple hat pattern, like it literally 30 seconds. I might not even remove any of the footage. Sounds like this. Now I'm just gonna add the kick and these Nick Mira roll things that I found in this kit. I'm just gonna add some of them. So I tried to make the kick pattern bounce off the 808. That literally just repeats on the second half of the bar. Mine's a bit different to the one Wonder Girl used. So um, now I think I'm just gonna add an open hat and then get to mixing. So as you can see, real simple open hat placement. Now I'm gonna get to mixing. Someone had asked me to um, show them how I lay a track out, so this is what I'm going to do. So as you can see, what I do is I have 16 bars as the verse, so this section is the verse. And it just basically builds up the drums. And then the chorus, I have everything playing for two of these, and maybe just take something out as a little, like, a little variation, and everything just playing. 
and then for the second verse i always take everything out at the start and then again rebuild the drums up to the chorus which will be the same as the last chorus if you want it like that way and then just finish with the verse on its own as an outro so this would be my finished track and now i would just save and export it so that was my jack boys tutorial with a wonder girl kind of vibe i hope you're all having a great new year regular uploads are on the way and then you sample pack on the way which i'm going to release this week i'll tell you more about that in the next video but until then thank you for watching subscribe if you're not and goodbye